Thank you. Stop it. Stop. Please stop playing for a minute. Let me stop playing. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up to all my go-getters? What's up to all my go-getters? Just by the title, y'all already know what I'm about to talk about. You know, you feel me? First, I initially want to say thank y'all for helping me get to 100 subscribers. I have, um, I have exceeded 100 subscribers. I think I'm at 107 subscribers as of right now. But <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. It's only going to be up from here. It's only going to be up from here. I'm excited for what I got in store for y'all. Like, y'all just don't know. Like, <laughs> y'all just don't know. But, man, like, it's exciting to know that I came from literally zero. Literally zero. When I first started, my first video got, like, four views. Yeah. You know, you know like, it's you got to start somewhere, right? And for my people out there that's going to start YouTube, go ahead and do it. Stop hesitating. Stop it. Stop it. You know what? Stop it. You want to hesitate? It ain't going to do nothing, man. Like, I'm going to walk out this room and I'm going to come back. And y'all better start your YouTube channel. Alright. I hope y'all thought about it. Anyways. Woo! Yeah, your girl is so happy, man. Like... I know it's just 100 subscribers, but every milestone should be celebrated, y'all. Always acknowledge y'all's success. And that just makes things more fun. You feel me? Don't always be like, ah, oh, I didn't, I, I'm not at 100K. I'm not at a million. You're going to get there. I'm going to get there. And nobody ain't going to stop me but myself. So I'm going to get there and I'm going to let y'all know that if y'all want to start a YouTube channel, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Like I said, I'll walk out. Y'all need the time by yourself to think. I'll walk out. I'll come right back though. But anyways, since I have exceeded 100 subscribers, y'all, today we're going to do a story time about the, my coming out story. Yes, y'all, a coming out story. I'm going to tell y'all the whole get down, the whole story, step by step, how I went. You feel me? If you did not know, I am lesbian. Yes, I love women. I love women. I love women. Straight into the talk, yeah. I'm going to go straight into this. Let's get it. It started off like this. See, my sisters always knew that I was, well, one of my sisters I know for sure always knew that I was gay. You know, I kind of hate that we have to categorize ourselves, but that's just life. Anyways, my, 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 my sisters always knew that I liked it, girls. And it was never like a, you know, for me, like when it was around my sisters, it was never like a coming out story for them specifically. It was more so they knew what was up. Like they knew how to interact with girls. Like they already knew. Um, but when it came to my mom, I feel like she always knew, but she was just was very like, um, I wouldn't say reluctant. Yeah, she was reluctant to ask me. And if y'all don't know what reluctant mean, that's just like hesitating to do something. Cause she just didn't like, she wanted me to come to her. But the way that, I, the way that I have this conversation begun was very messed up. And mom, if you watching, I'm like, it's nothing against you or nothing. I still love you, mom. I know you're a hands-on parent, so I get it. I understand. I understand now. But at the time when that happened, man, I got outed by my mama. Like, she didn't tell nobody else, but she, like, let, outed myself. Like, she went through my phone. So let me just, let me, sorry, I be all over the place, y'all. Yeah, you see? But anyways, so I was coming home from basketball practice. Yep, happy. She finna take me to 7-Eleven. See, this was, the, this was the same schedule. I come from basketball practice. I go to 7-Eleven. I give me some juice, some snacks. I was a little, I don't know why I used to do that. I don't know how I used to recuperate the next day just eating snacks right after a basketball practice. But I don't know. Anyways, that don't matter. So my mom told me to go in the store and she told me to leave my phone in the car. I'm like, hmm? what you mean? Wait, what, what we doing here? Like, what we doing? Like, <laughs> I'm sweating this shit. Come on, like, don't be playing like that. What you mean, leave my phone? I guess she saw me, you know, on my phone before we even like got to the store. She was like, leave your phone right here. I put it in. The, I put it right there. I left it on the um the cup holder. I'm in a. I'm in a. So I run into the. So after I put my phone out, slammed the door. I run into the store. Seven Eleven. I'm trying to rush to the store. I'm trying to find my candy. You know, at this point, I ain't even want nothing. My appetite was completely gone. But you know, I have to play it off. I have to get some snacks. I ain't want to come straight out and she gonna be like. What you doing? So, so I go in there. I get my snacks. I ring it up. I run out. I run out. Right. I come to the. I come to the car, y'all. I come to the car. I open the door. She's just looking at me with a stale face. I'm like, yep. She went through my phone. 
she went through my phone and she went through my phone she most definitely found the messages that i sent to a girl that i was talking to at the time you call it mingling whatever but yes bro and it was so like the like as soon as i got into the car like the the like the the vibe the energy shifted like i knew she saw it she turned over to me right this like this she's like this she's like why this call why this girl calling you baby girl and then i'm like i'm like this i'm like this this me this me i'm like that's just how she talks and then my mama like, my mama like, hmm, that's how she talks. I'm in this motherfucker, scared y'all. And I tell you, my heart thump, thumping. And, and if and at this time I was a freshman in high school, so I still haven't told her nothing. So the the fact I was just so scared to tell her because I didn't want my mom to be disappointed in me. That's my mom. No one wants their mom or their parents in general to be disappointed. <laughs> hey, it's not even just parents. The people that you love, you don't want them to look at you a certain way. Everybody know that. So I'm just like scared the whole time. So we driving home. She kind of looking like not. She looked disappointed that the fact. I feel like she was disappointed that I didn't tell her. She's like, why you didn't tell me? And I was like, like, um, like, I didn't know, like, I didn't know if you was going to like it or not. You look like you don't like it. Her face looked like it showed a distasteful look. She showed a distasteful look and I knew she was a little upset. Like it was something new. She had to adjust to it. Her daughter likes girls. Like she had to adjust to it. And when uh, if your parents love you, they're going to adjust to what you, who you are as a person. That's just facts. If someone loves you, they're going to adjust to who you are. They're going to have to love you for who you are. And yeah, she was like basically telling me not to tell nobody yet because I'm still young and I might, it might be a phase. Y'all know how every parent be like, it might be a phase and all that stuff. Mom wasn't really disrespectful about it and all. Like she's, she's literally a W mom for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I love you, mom. I love you. And I love you too. I love you too, baby. And I love you too, father. Y'all know. But, yeah, like, it's just, man, like, when I tell you, like, it was just so scary. That whole car ride back home was just so weird. And she just kept telling me, don't tell no one. And I'm just thinking in the back of my head, like, mom, you disappointed? Like, you don't want to, you ashamed that your daughter is gay? She's like, stop saying you're gay. You don't know if you're gay. Like, yet, like, you haven't even experienced life yet. And okay, and I get it, I get it. But I just kept telling her. But she, I feel like my mom knew. Like, I feel like she knew. She had to know. But after all, she still loved me. And she accepts me for who I am. She respects my space. She respects who I am as a person. And she didn't never really been disrespectful about it. And I love you for that, mom. If you're watching. I love you. It's a lot. So, I have a father and a dad. And my father is the person that I grew up in the house with, right? And my dad is my dad. That's my, like he's my biological dad. He was away for ten years. He was in prison, but that doesn't matter anymore. He's out now. But when he, they found out, when, when my father found out, the one who raised me, the one who was actually I grew up in the house with him, while my other dad was not um, present at the time. He knew and he was okay with his effort. Like, I love that for me. And I know a lot of people out there might be envious that, like, envious of that because, you know, some parents are not accepting. And my father, my dad, when he came out of jail and I got to, like, talk to him more and be around him more, I ended up telling him that I had a girlfriend. And he was just like, okay, like, just make sure the girl that you're with, you know, like girls and she's not just doing it just to have fun or you not experiment. So just to sum it up, everybody in my family are, is, is accepting about it. And, and my, my brother knew, he didn't care, he laughed. My brother is so ignorant, y'all. He just started laughing. He's like, I already knew already. Like I'm telling you, like my siblings knew already. My friends probably knew already. Like it was just, just like, <laughs> duh. But anyways, I ain't trying to go, I ain't trying to run on no more. Thank y'all for the um, 100 subscribers. At 107 subscribers, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so ready to just keep leveling up, keep going on, keep doing different stuff with this YouTube stuff. Trying to take it to a different level, and I am going to take it to a different level. Man, like, comment, subscribe. Don't be scared to hit that post notification button. You know what I mean? Like, just click it. It's that easy. And um, I'm doing a new thing, y'all. If y'all the first person to watch my video, say you the first one in the comments. And I will just screenshot it and put it in my video. And I'll shout you out. So that's the new thing I'm doing. Happy New Year's again. And peace out, y'all. We gone. Yeah. He bought a Gucci. I'm finna go buy.